Right, so this is Zero Hour, and if you are an old Rainbow Six buff like me, you will notice that uh, the game actually shares the name with a Rainbow Six expansion for one of the older titles. So we, let's see here, select location. It also seems like there is a limited number of the different guns, so... Okay, so this bomb appears to be near the window on the second floor. Deploying in 10 seconds. Copy that in the drawing room. Very interesting to have this kind of... Locate and defuse the okay, bomb. we got some company this time around. Looks like they hooked on to one of the good ideas from Siege with the repelling. Let's vault in. Okay, so it, the door opens outwards, meaning that... Tango! Straight ahead. At the end of the corridor. Dead ahead. Got him. Well, that went well. So, apparently we are the terrorists this time around, and that means we get to pick where the objective is gonna be. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick the AK as the weapon. And Master Room seems to be the place to be now that we are on the terrorist Fortified side. Area. So the enemy is currently planning their execution. And execution sounds like a good thing, considering we are the bad guys. So we got flashlights here. And apparently we're all vampires, because we can't see ourselves in the mirror. Hostiles are moving in. Let's close the door. I think they shut the power. If they shut the power, then that's actually pretty neat. Tango knocks down, I think. He's here. Oh, come on! That was so unfair. Not only did I have the drop on him, I did have a fairly decent angle. But I do like the fact that it looks like you can actually... ...cut the power and everything like that. So, in a sense, it seems like it's more of a mix of... Rainbow Six Siege, the old Rainbow games, and also a bit of the Modern Warfare mission where you go into the house and stuff like that. So, uh, I gotta say, for 10 bucks, the game so far seems to be a nice value proposition. Only problem is that I don't think I won't have, I don't think I'm gonna have the energy to actually play it. But they they seem they started out fairly fucking defeated. good. So apparently they decided to <laughs> disarm the bomb. Uh, apparently 
my team decided actually guarding the bomb was for losers. So, uh, I think we're gonna select a different weapon. We're gonna select the Rattler. Uh, as for utilities, if we can... Ooh, we can actually pick Door Trap. And the second utility could be a... Ah, just... A, so, the area. so, I don't know what if... Oh, the bomb is on the second floor. Or at least above us, so... We're gonna go up there and we are gonna prep one of our traps somewhere close by. The stamina system is also very punishing. If you oh, like rush for a second or so, it's gonna it's gonna be a it's gonna be Oh Careful now. That was just luck. That was not at all uh, planned or in any way, shape, or form deserved. Oh, wait. You are the, over there. So we got knocked down. It happens. I was just trying to find a location where I didn't already cover a location where my mates were hanging out. So apparently it's 2-2 in matches. We do pretty well on the scoreboard. All enemies have been neutralized. Nice! So we're still going to be on the defense. And same things, I think. Oh, and there's even a cam system. Of course it is. When I said this thing was uh, a bit closely resembling Rainbow Six Siege, I didn't know it was actually that far. So we're gonna close. It looked like there was an option to actually shut down the light ourselves, but I'm not sh actually sure. They just popped a nade into this. Here they come. Looks like they know better than to actually try and climb this. Nope. Let's move. I don't know about the hit detection. No. I mean, I had that guy dead to rights, so... Looks like they cut the power again. Yeah. 
Yeah, so far the community is not winning me over here if you are paying attention to the chat. The chat is essentially just cancer so far. So obviously the community needs a bit of work. So far, so good. We'll just have to wait until stuff gets done. Interesting, and I don't know if the teams are shaking up what's going on here but it appears that two of the people is actually whining at each other on the same team and we get to hear it i kind of wish we didn't oh that's interesting i cannot Okay, so hopefully we'll be back as the attackers soon enough. I do prefer to be the attackers, so yeah, we're we're on the attacking side. And uh, as for the utilities, yeah, we're good. Use the planning table to find the bomb. Seconds. It's too bad I can't see where the other people are deploying, but I guess that's actually meant designed so that people will actually use communications. That said, I'm not sure it actually works that way. I'm gonna let... The interesting thing uh, is that Windows doesn't really work the same way they do in Siege. In Siege, they're kind of a... They're kind of a... Double-edged blade, considering that... You are just as vulnerable on the Windows as you are... Here, it appears that you have to cross the door before you become truly vulnerable, at least. He's, there's still someone behind me, eh? So... Well, the shitter is clear. I didn't know the shit that was the shitter, but... Okay, so diffusing works a bit like Siege as well, with essentially a remote uh, diffuser. The bomb has been diffused. And that's it. So, we're just going to return to the main menu and... So far, I gotta say that the game is decent enough. For early access and 10 bucks, it's a way better experience than, say, gr uh, Ground Control. Uh, no, sorry, Ground Branch is the name. And they they come a lot further as well, but to be honest, I've, I gotta keep... Uh, obviously, I'm gonna keep it in my Steam library. But I think that... In the end, I'm still gonna 
hold out for that game that keeps getting delayed. I can't even remember what it's called. Uh, but hopefully we are gonna see more of these kinds of games. And so far Zero Hour can only improve from here. I don't see... If, they, if this is how they start out with, I don't see them making any mistakes going forward. Hopefully.